Next, we're in Potsdam, Germany, exploring technique with C1 Canoe Sprint Olympic champion, Sebastian Brendel. The important thing in canoeing is strength to apply to the boat or the paddle, to move forwards as effectively as possible and to glide well over the water. That's really important to move efficiently. You need some feeling for the water and you find the rhythm sooner or later. Since winning Olympic gold at London 2012, Sebastian Brendel has dominated the C1 Sprint Canoe event, winning five World Championship titles over the 1,000 and 5,000 meters. C1 refers to a Canadian-style boat that holds one kneeling athlete. To ensure the race is fair, the boat has to meet precise competition standards. The paddle is made of carbon, the high-tech material. Everyone decides the length themselves, as well as the shape. I actually use an industry standard paddle, so there is nothing special about it. The boats are all made of carbon, and in terms of length and weight, they are all the same. A Canadian boat has to weigh at least 14 kilograms. If it weighs one gram less in competition, then you are disqualified. They are also all standardized in length. The maximum for singles is 5.2 meters, and the width of the boats is 30 to 40 centimeters for Canadians. In a Canadian boat, you paddle on one side only. You have no rudder, so with every paddle stroke you have to steer a bit, which you do at the end of the stroke as you lift the paddle out laterally. That's how you keep the boat straight. If the wind comes from a different direction, then you do radial strokes. This pushes the boat, you move the bow round as it were, and you apply the paddle a bit further away. I kneel on my left knee and my right leg stands in front of my body to brace me. For normal people, it's a highly unusual position. It soon starts to hurt. I hold the position in training for 60 to 90 minutes when we're on the water. And the main muscle sets that we stress are actually the shoulder, back and stomach muscles. For us, these are very important muscle sets that we always train in the weight room. I think some really important exercises for canoeists are resistant bands and pull-ups. That trains your arms, back and shoulders, which as I said are the main muscle sets we need in this canoe. And you also need a lot of stomach muscle training and some leg muscle training, which you neglect sometimes, but the legs are not the most important muscles for us. In the canoe sprint, races are often won by thousands of a second, which means a game plan is paramount to success. You have a tactic for 500 meters and 1,000 meters. For 500, you go into the race a bit faster, of course, than over 1,000. When I get off to a good start over the first 500, I let the competition catch up a bit and try to conserve my strength. Then put everything into the final spurt where I have more energy and can overtake the others again. But everyone has different tactics. It was really great on the water just now. It's not always like that. Sometimes there is a fair wind blowing, where paddling is not so pleasant. But all things considered, it's pretty great. We have a super support center with everything we need. Swimming pool, athletics hall, canoe support center, physiotherapy, and everything close together. Then you have time to recover, and here you can perform at the highest level.